On my last trail ride, I noticed that my fork was making some noises, so today I'm going to take it apart and see what's wrong. So here's what I'm talking about. That knocking noise. I've already checked everything else. It's not my axle or my brakes. I also checked my headset and that's all nice and tight. And you can actually hear something sliding inside the fork. Whenever I was flipping my bike upside down, I noticed there was like a sliding noise. So here's that noise again. You can hear something going up and down. It sounds like it's the tokens, which hopefully it is the tokens. So let's take it apart. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that it's the tokens that might have gotten loose and are making the sliding sound. Because that would be the easiest to fix. But first I have to release the air out of my fork, then unscrew the top cap. Before you release all the air out of your fork, make sure you memorize how much air is already in there. Because memorizing it will save you a lot of time and effort searching for the right PSI down the road. In order for me to remove the top cap, I need a 24mm socket. But the problem with this is that this socket has rounded off edges. And if I try to remove it with the rounded off edges, it will probably strip the top cap. So I'm going to sand it down and make it flush. I don't have a belt sander, but I do have this angle grinder. And I've secured it to this little table. So I'm just going to turn it on and then slowly grind it down. Let's do it. Look at that. Look at how much better that already looks. So I'm done with grinding off the edges, and here's the finished product. This will finally sit flush with the top cap. Now I'm going to unscrew the top cap. Oh, it let out some air. Look at that, it bottomed out. Moment of truth, let's see if there's an air token in there. There it is. Must have unscrewed while I was riding the trails. As you guys can see, it just screws on right here. And it must have gotten loose while riding, and then it was just at the bottom of my air chamber. And you could also put more in here because it has the threads on the bottom of this one. Now let's put everything back together and hopefully that was my problem. A little bit down the road, I'll probably do a full lower leg service on this fork. But for now, I'll just put it back together and hopefully that was my problem. There we go. There we go, 60 PSI. There we go. Well guys, that's the end of this video. As you guys can hear, I'm not making any more noise. Hopefully this video helped some of you out. Thank you guys so much for watching.